Steven Universe Season 1 has 52 episodes. Being as long as it is, I feel it's pretty neglected. Like, yeah, people still talk about episodes like Mirror Gem, Ocean Gem, Lion 3 Straight to Video, Alone Together, The Test, Future Vision, and the two-part finale, The Return and Jailbreak. But there are so many that just get swept under the rug by fans. I'm sure some of these get talked about by a few people. I've only been in this fandom for a little over the year, but I feel I can safely say there's not much discussion surrounding some of these episodes, like Arcade Mania or Shirt Club. So today, I'm starting a new series where I review forgotten episodes of Steven Universe that deserve more love. I will mostly be talking about season 1, but every episode has the chance to be talked about in this new series, The Hidden Gems. Well, not every episode. Like, I'm obviously not going to be calling something like a single pale rose to be a hidden gem. Also, don't bully me for this dumb pun. I like it, so shut up. So what episode am I going to start with? Well, you've all seen the title and thumbnail. You know I'm talking about season 1, episode 33, Garnet's Universe. I love this episode. It may just be a silly story that Steven made up, but it shows a lot about some of the dynamics in the show, and not just Steven and Garnet. That is the main focus though. Throughout a lot of season 1, Garnet acts very reserved and cool due to her hiding her true self to Steven, and once she no longer had to hide herself, she's a lot more open. But there were still times in season 1 where Garnet would drop this act, this opening scene being one of them. Garnet is just best mum. That's just, she's just best mum. But we still see her hiding more of her true self. Kinda. This episode is kind of meta with how Steven's story reflects the canon of the show. This ending where Garnet just tells Steven, no, that's not what he did today, is true. Like, yeah, obviously that didn't happen. But with the bluntness of it, it also shows how Garnet doesn't want to open up about her vulnerabilities we see in Steven's story. Who is that? My most favorite person in the world. Have you ever told him that? No. Why not? I'm not strong enough. This story is very cute. I love the art style. It's very similar to Attack the Light, which is pretty fitting since this episode is very video game-esque. Like a world map and these hills that look straight out of Mario. All these characters reflect actual characters in the show. Hoppy and Hopper obviously being Pearl and Amethyst, being Garnet's buddies who are voiced by Michaela Dietz in Dee Dee Mango Hall. But I really want to talk about Ringo and Foxman. Voiced by Zachary Steele and Matthew Moy, they're obviously meant to reflect Ronaldo and Lars. Ringo even just straight up looks exactly like Ronaldo. There's actually some kind of interesting setup here. This rivalry between Ringo and Foxman setting up the episode Horror Club where we learn about the real rocky relationship between Lars and Ronaldo. That all went wrong because of a gem in a building at the top of a hill. Foxman also heavily reflects Lars in that he's seen as antagonistic until the characters actually stop and hear him out instead of just making assumptions. There's even this joke. Looks like you're hungry for another delicious beating. Actually, that last one spoiled my appetite. How dare you insult my cooking skills? Hmm, I wonder what that could be about. Also, in my last video, I said this. I need to see if I can go top in an entire Steven Universe video without bringing up how much I fucking love Lars. And yeah, sorry, I don't think I can. I've been given an opportunity and I gotta take it. Lars is so awesome, I love him. <laughs> Garnet's universe is absolutely a hidden gem. It's a very cute episode that explores the peak mother and son dynamic of Garnet and Steven, as well as showing us aspects of one of the best characters in fiction, and also Ronaldo. That's all I've got to say for today, so make sure to like and subscribe to make me smile, and I will see you later.